Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to retouch, remove acne and stray hairs, smooth skin, reduce shine, and enhance eyes all in Photoshop. Let's work on this photo of my daughter Ellie today. I'm going to begin the editing process by working on the small bumps of acne and stray hairs. To do that, we're going to be using a tool called the Spot Healing Brush Tool. In the most recent versions of Photoshop, there is a content aware option. If you have this option, you will want to check it and make sure sample all layers is checked as well. Next, we're going to make a new blank layer, Control or Command, Shift N. Now, what we're going to do is using this tool, you're going to use your right and left bracket keys. The right bracket key makes your brush bigger, the left smaller, and we're literally going to just tap on these spots of acne and they will vanish. If you, for some reason, as you're clicking, notice that the click doesn't work quite right, just go back in your history a step or click undo. As you can see, all the spots of acne are gone. Now we're gonna go ahead and work on the stray hairs. Same tool, same layer. I'm gonna make my brush a little bit smaller and I'm just gonna trace along the stray hairs. The next thing I'm going to do is flatten my image and then I'm going to run Color Fusion Mix and Match. Once Color Fusion Mix and Match is done running, you're gonna to wanna to pick the layers that you're interested in based on the look you want. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on Peachy and Lemonade Stand. And as you can see, that's far too bright. I'm gonna be moving Lemonade Stand down to about 10%, 10 or 11%, and Peachy down to about 30 or so percent. And I'm liking that result a lot. Next thing I'm gonna do is I am noticing some shine on her skin, and I do want to reduce that. I'm going to use MCP Bag of Tricks. The shiny skin vanisher will help us here and you will notice it pops up a message and says that we're going to be picking a color. So we're going to go ahead and pick a color of skin as it explains and we're going to use a low opacity brush to brush this on. White brush is going to paint this on just in the areas that have a little extra shine. Next, I'm going to go to the background layer and I'm going to make a copy of the background, which is Command J on a Mac, Control J on a PC. I'm gonna be using a tool called the Patch Tool. And what I do is I select the eye area here and try not to hit on any of the darkened areas. So I do a nice big circle and then I move it to a smooth area, either the forehead or somewhere on the cheek. It will pick up on the area where you move it to. And you'll see that gets rid of the under eye shadows, but you want it to look natural. So I usually pull this back to about 45, 50, 55% so that you can still see the shadow, but it's reduced. Next, I wanna do just an overall skin smoothing. Here's the situation. Pixel layers will cover each other up, and the background copy is a pixel layer. So I do need to click on the background and background copy. I can still retain the rest of those layers. Do a right click and click Merge Layers. Next, I'm going to run Magic Skin. And the pop-up messages will explain how to do this, but basically you're clicking on Samples of Skin. Now that the action is done running, we're gonna use our black brush and just paint over the eyes, make sure there was no overspill. Next, we're going to use the eye doctor. So I press play. Normally I would sharpen both eyes, but for this particular image, I noticed that the right side is a little bit out of focus compared to the left side. So I'm only going to sharpen the right side and now they look about even. I'm gonna also use the Enhanced Catch Lights layer and just tap once on the catch lights. You can always reduce the opacity if it's too much. Brighten the iris. I like to do a little half moon shape, typically opposite the catch light. On certain eyes, this will definitely be too much 
And even on her eyes, it's definitely too intense. I'm going to bring down the opacity quite a bit to something in the 20s. Let's take a look at what we have achieved. Here's our starting picture. Here's after removing the acne and the hair. And this is the final result after the fusion action has been run, the shiny skin vanisher, as well as the eye doctor. You've been watching a tutorial by mcpactions.com. Please visit our website for more great tutorials as well as our Photoshop actions and Lightroom presets.